in this video i will take the problem on frustum of a cone now what is the frustum of a cone it means that a cone which is cut that would be called as a frustum and we have to find the center of gravity for that frustum of a cone so here we have the question a solid cone of 500 mm height and 200 mm base diameter if the portion above half of its height is removed determine the point at which the remaining body can be balanced see the point about which the remaining body can be balanced is nothing but the center of gravity center of gravity is that point about which the total weight acts so here we'll start the solution by drawing the diagram solid cone of 500 mm height and 200 mm base diameter here we are having a cone height is 500 mm and base is 200 mm now if the portion above half of its height is removed the total height is 500 mm so if i take the half of that it means at 250 mm the portion if the portion above half of its height is removed means above 250 whatever is there if it is removed so we have to determine the point at which the remaining body can be balanced so the remaining section is so this section which i have shown in red this is called as the frustum of a cone and we have to find the point at which the remaining body can be balanced it means we have to find the cg for this frustum of a cone now have how to get the cg of this the concept we will be using here is that from the bigger cone i will subtract this smaller cone that is i will be calculating volume values for each of the cone y values and then we will calculate y bar now as we can see here this cone if i keep it on an axis this cut cone it is symmetric about the vertical axis so we will get x bar directly in the solution part i'll start with since the frustum of a cone is symmetric about y axis therefore cg lies on y axis and hence we can say x bar is equal to it will be half of the base diameter of the cone which is 200 so half of that x bar is 100 mm our first answer next to calculate y bar we need to know volume of each of the cone but if we look into this diagram we are only having the diameter of the base for the bigger cone for the smaller cone we don't have the diameter of base so here i will say that i'll name this as a b c for the smaller cone and for the bigger cone it would be a d and e so here i would be using the concept of similarity of triangles to get this base b c i'll say that now from similarity of triangles here i have two triangles corresponding to the two cones this is the smaller cone abc 
its height is 250 mm its base is bc and that is the diameter which we want to calculate next for the bigger cone the diameter of the base is 200 mm and its height is 500 mm so here i would be using the concept of similarity of triangles so i'll say that since from similarity of triangles for triangle ABC and triangle ADE here I can write the relation as once I know this height of triangle ABC that is 250 so its height upon its base that is BC is equal to the height of the bigger triangle upon its base that is 200 so from this if I cross multiply and calculate BC will be equal to 250 into 200 divided by 500 so finally BC it comes out to be 100 mm so this is the diameter of base for the smaller cone now if we know the diameter we can calculate the values of volume so I'll say that this bigger cone will be the first solid for us and this smaller cone would be the second solid so here I'll say that since V1 volume of the bigger cone it is 1 upon 3 pi r cube h so it is equal to 1 by 3 pi radius of the bigger cone it is 100 100 cube into its height is 500 so from this I will get the value of V1 so therefore V1 value comes out to be 1.67 into 10 raised to 6 pi mm cube after getting V1 I will get Y1 Y1 is equal to since we are having a bigger cone and a smaller cone so in that CG will be if I am taking the bigger cone then its CG will lie edge by 4 distance from the base so this is Y1 for us and similarly for the smaller cone here also this will be y2 for us so I can say that for the bigger cone y1 this will be equal to h by 4 and y2 will also be h by 4 so y1 is h by 4 h is 500 divided by 4 so therefore y1 is equal to 125 mm now v1 and y1 values are there after that v2 will be equal to again the second solid is a cone so volume of cone 1 by 3 pi r cube it is pi r square h not cube here we are having pi r square h be careful and the answer is correct so here we are having pi r square h so it is equal to 1 by 3 pi radius of the smaller cone the diameter we have calculated it was 100 mm so half of that so 50 square into h is 250 so from this I will get the answer of v2 it is 20.83 into 10 raised to 3 pi mm cube after v2 I will calculate y2 it's equal to now the second cone which is the smaller cone it is starting after 250 mm so I'll write down 250 plus 
for the second cone its cg will also be at h by 4 distance height of the second cone is 250 mm so plus 250 divided by 4 so y2 value it comes out to be 312.5 mm once we know all these values we can easily go for the calculation of y bar after this i'll write it on the next page since location of cg with respect to x axis is given by y bar is equal to v1 y1 minus v2 y2 upon v1 minus v2 since we are subtracting because we want frustum of a cone therefore y bar is equal to v1 1.67 into 10 raised to 6 pi y1 125 v2 20.83 into 10 raised to 3 pi y2 312.5 divided by v1 minus v2 so from this i will get my answer of y bar and it comes out to be 98.21 mm this is the second answer so after getting y bar as 98.21 mm here i have shown the cg on the frustum of a cone this frustum was given into the question now x bar is 100 mm we have already calculated that so x bar distance it indicates the y axis for the first term of cone next y bar is 98.21 mm that indicates the x axis for the first term of a cone and wherever x axis and y axis of the first term intersect that gives us the cg of the first term of a cone and as we see in the problem the question was to determine the point we have to find out the point at which the remaining body can be balanced the remaining body means frustum so the point the point about which the remaining frustum of a cone it can balance that is nothing but the center of gravity for the frustum of a cone and we have located that center of gravity for the frustum by giving x bar and y bar coordinates that is x bar is equal to 100 mm and y bar is equal to 98.21 mm and with this we complete the question